My name is Kayla Williams, and for task three of the group project, I will be talking about a black attic neck amphora that displays Hercules' defeat over the monster named Garion. This amphora dates back to around 550 to 540 BC. The artist of this piece is unknown. If I were to be the artist of this, I would have depicted it somewhat like what it already looks like. The description of Garion is pretty accurate. Garion came from a weird lineage, which is said to be the cause of his unique look. Garion seems to have three heads and three sets of legs all joined at the waist. Some people believe that Garion is a giant made up of three different men. Looking at this amphora, that seems to ring true. There is not a lot I would change about Garion. When it comes to Hercules, I might have made him look a little more stronger and a little shorter. The story goes on to say how Garion is a giant. So if Garion is a giant, I do not believe that Hercules should be the same size as this so-called giant. I would still have Hercules with the lion cape on that he received previously in the myth. The artist did a good job at displaying Eurytion, wounded on the ground, and Athena in the background. I would not change a lot about that. The artist of this piece of work does a great job at displaying the story. You can see that there is clearly a fight going on. You get an idea of what the end result is because of Eurytion, which is Garion's herdman, laying on the ground looking wounded. Of course, there is a lot more that goes into the story rather than just fighting Garion. The only thing that seems off to me about this display is that Hercules is showed, shown holding a sword in the myth, but in the myth it says that when Hercules was faced with Garion, he killed Garion with his arrows. Other than that, you can get the gist that Hercules won the battle with Garion and was able to steal his cattle. When it comes to where this is depicted on the amphora, the artist seems to have put it in a strategic place where your eyes are drawn to the chest area where they are fighting. You still see other aspects of the picture, but the way it is placed makes your eyes go immediately to the upper portion of the picture. This is also where the most detail is. It highlights the main importance of what is happening in that moment, which is Hercules defeating Garion. After looking at other art from the same time period, it seems that vases were a big deal and so were mythical creatures. This amphora follows along those lines as well. Of the other amphoras I looked at, they all have the same idea of where to place the picture on the amphora. It is clear that they want your attention to be drawn to something specific on the object. You can also see that creatures drawn on this amphora are not naturalistic at all. They have a few features of real pe people, but other than that they look completely mythical, which is symbolic of that time period. If you look at the picture, everything drawn is mathematically pleasing to the eye. It is very pr pr proportional, which is also typical of that time period. I chose this piece of art because of the story behind it. Of the 12 labors, this one was my favorite to read about. I found it very interesting that this labor is called the Battle of Geryon, when in fact it was hardly a battle at all. The reason this labor was so much work was the things that Hercules had to face on the way there and more importantly on the way back. The actual fight with Geryon and Hercules was not that hard of a task. On the way back, many people try to interfere with Hercules and take the cattle away from him. I like this painting because it shows how heroic Hercules truly is and how he is able to accomplish it all, no matter how hard the obstacles may have been gotten. It shows him being skillful and defeating a great giant, which is Garion. And that is all I have about Hercules and Garion.